come to Monte Carlo out of season again. Not a single well-known personality in the hotel. Stone cold. Wait up. Gasson, call him. Tell him to get me some... Why, it's Max de Winter. How do you do? How do you do? I'm Edith Van Hopper. It's so nice to run into you here, just when I was beginning to despair of finding any old friends here in Monte. But do sit down and have some coffee. Mr. De Winter's having some coffee with me. Go and ask the stupid waiter for another cup. I'm afraid I must contradict you. You shall both have coffee with me. Casson, let me see. Coffee, please. Cigarette? No, thank you. You know, I recognized you just as soon as you came in, though I haven't seen you since that night at the casino at Palm Beach. <laughs> Perhaps you don't remember an old woman like me. Are you playing the tables much here at Monte? No, I'm afraid that sort of thing ceased to amuse me years ago. I can well understand that. As for me, if I had a home like Manderley, I should certainly never come to Monte. I hear it's one of the biggest places in that part of the country, and you just can't beat it for beauty. And what do you think of Monte Carlo? Or don't you think of it at all? Oh, well, well, I think it's rather artificial. She's spoiled, Mr. DeWitter. That's her trouble. Most girls will give their eyes for a chance to see Monte. Wouldn't that rather defeat the purpose? Now that we've found each other again, I hope I shall see something of you. You must come and have a drink in my suite. I hope they've given you a good room. The place is empty, so if you're uncomfortable, mind you, make a fuss. Your valet is unpacked for you, I suppose. I'm afraid I don't possess one. Perhaps you'd like to do it for me. Well, I... <laughs> I hardly think... Uh, perhaps you could make yourself useful to Mr. DeWitt if he wants anything done. You're a capable child in many ways. That's a charming suggestion, but I'm afraid I cling to the old motto. He travels fastest who travels alone. Perhaps you've not heard of it. Good night. What do you make of that? Do you suppose that sudden departure was intended to be funny? Come, don't sit there gawking. Let's go upstairs. Have you got the key? Yes, Mrs. Van Hopper. I remember when I was younger, there was a well-known writer who used to dart down the back way whenever he saw me coming. I suppose he was in love with me and wasn't quite sure of himself. Well, c'est la vie. By the way, my dear, don't think that I mean to be unkind, but you were just a teeny-weeny bit forward with Mr. De Winter. Your effort to enter the conversation quite embarrassed me, and I'm sure it did him. Men loathe that sort of thing. Oh, come, don't suck. After all, I am responsible for your behavior here. Perhaps he didn't notice it. Poor thing. I suppose he just can't get over his wife's death. They say he simply adored her. <laughs> 